So I'm going to give a little progress report on uh, some very early planted corn for us here in mid-Michigan. This is the corn that was planted April 13th. Uh, at the time of planting, soil temps were in the mid-60s. Uh, of course, we had a real warm March like most of the Midwest. Um, and uh, day after planting, we had six-tenths of an inch of nice warm rain. So all of this corn had germinated by April 15th. Uh, you know, the corn continued to advance well for a few more days, but then we went into a two-week uh, cold spell, and things slowed down considerably. I mean, there was still progress in root growth, but, uh, uh, I mean, it kept getting colder, and we had several hard freezes. I mean, that was culminated by uh, a record-setting cold of 25.3 on the morning of April 30th. Um, so that was just eight days ago. I went out that morning and uh, measured the soil temps, and at a half inch deep, we were down to 32 degrees. Um, uh, the coleoptile, or the spike of the corn that morning, was within about a half inch of the soil surface. And uh, at depth, the soil temps were still 40 degrees at about an inch and a half deep. Um, we finally got some warmer weather after that, you know, culminating shot of real hard cold, the 25.3 degree morning. And, you know, within, uh, two to three days, uh, uh, of that cold, the corn had emerged. Um, you know, it's now May 8th, 2012. We're eight days past that hard freeze and about five or six days past emergence. Um, now you can see I'm um, just a few places I thought I could see a little bit of damage on the tip to the coleoptiles uh, from that hard freeze. A little bit of yellowing or browning, but all in all, I don't think uh, it shows too much damage from that, which, uh, well, I mean, that surprised me. I mean, 25.3 is, uh, you know, that's that's tough. But, uh, you know, I guess being a half inch from emergence yet, fortunately, uh, you know, protected it. Um, uh, this corn was planted at 36,000 population. I did a little bit of measuring this morning, you know. Uh, these are 30-inch rows, so 17 and a half uh, feet. You take a count times 1,000, and, you know, I'm seeing... 20, uh, I mean, uh, 34 to, you know, 34,000, 33,000, 35,000, some places 36,000. So, uh, emergence was pretty good. I mean, and, and I guess the other thing that's, uh, um, you know, good, I'm pleased by, a little surprise is that after sitting in the ground for three weeks, uh, nearly three weeks prior to emergence. Uh, all this corn emerged pretty much within 48 hours of each other, or maybe maybe a few stragglers uh, within 72 hours, but pretty much it's, uh, you know, we had a decent stand and, and fairly even emergence. So, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty hopeful about that. I mean, that was one of the other things I was concerned about planting so early. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, all in all, it seems to have worked out okay or well so far with this early planting. Uh, I think that, that warm rain we got uh, prior to uh, immediately following planting was, was key. I mean, it got everything uh, germinated and growing well uh, before the two weeks of cold. I mean, if we had cold and wet, I think uh, I would have had... Uh, cold inhibition damage and probably really hurt this corn during that cold snapping. You might have, you know, we hadn't had that little bit of warm, and that's why I planted it. The, week, the forecast was pretty decent for the week following planting, but, uh, you know, I think some of this stuff would have uh, would have even sat in the ground uh, and not germinated until now, so it's pretty important to have that warm uh, right after planting to at least get things, uh, to at least get things uh, started. Um, you know, uh, 
bottom line, planning here in mid-Michigan April 13th, uh, you know, worked out well this year, but, you know, also certainly something that, that wouldn't work maybe well a lot of years, and, uh, you know, uh, thank goodness uh, so far, so good, but uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of growing uh, season left to do, but, uh, um, I guess we're, we're pretty happy with uh, where it's at right now.